Here are a few more notes on chapter 10 when we looked at probability. So one thing we looked at in chapter 10 is the counting principle. If there are m ways to do one thing and n ways to do another, then there are m times n ways of doing both. So here's an example. At the local pizza place, you can have a lunch special where you can create a one-topping pizza for $5.95. You can choose from three different types of crust, four different types of sauces. So let me underline all this. Oh, let's do that better. Okay, so three different types of crust. I'm going to underline that. Four different types of sauces. And 12 different types of toppings. How many different pizzas could you create? So the counting principle says you can multiply those together. 3 times 4 times 12 will give you 144 different types of pizzas. Okay, so there's the counting principle. If um, they're independent events, you can multiply them together. Here's another example. How many different passwords could you make if you needed to use three letters? So three letters and one number. So here's three letters and one number. And letters, there's 26. And assuming that you can repeat letters, 26 choices for each of the first three, and one number. Uh, from 0 to 9, there are 10 digits. So we can multiply this together. This is the same as 26 to the third times 10. So there would be 175,760 different ways that you can make a password. We also looked at permutations where order matters. So here's an example. Rachel is racing her four friends down the hall. If there are no ties, how many different ways could they finish? All right, so a few ways to do this. Um, Rachel is racing her four friends down the hall. So there's five kids total, five um, people that could get first place, four people that could get second, three people that could get third, two people that could get fourth and then one person that would get last place. So one way to write this is 5 factorial. You could do your permutation button out of 5 people. You want all 5. Um, here's another example. How many different arrangements are there um, for the word summer? So first we count how many letters in summer. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. But there is repetition. The M's, there's two M's so we have to divide out that repetition. So we have 6 factorial over 2 factorial. If there's more than 1 factorial on the bottom, just make sure you put it in parentheses. Okay, so that's when order does matter. And combination is when order doesn't matter. So here's an example. Mrs. Bayesian is choosing four people out of our 30 students to sit at a table together. How many different combinations um, does she have to choose from? So for this one right here, you can use your combination button out of 30 students. You want tables of four. So here's what it looks like. Menu, probability, combinations out of 30 students, comma, you want four. And there's 27,405 ways that I could arrange a table of four students from a class of 30. And the last one, we did this in one of the other podcasts. You roll a six-sided die and flip a coin. What's the probability you roll an even number and get a tails? All right, so six-sided coin. And you can get heads and tails. OK, so I'm just going to like color in the even number and tails. So here's even number tails. Here's even number tails. Here's even number tails. So it looks like 3 out of 6 times 2 is 12. So there's a 1 fourth chance. 25% chance you would get an even number and a tails. Okay, I think that's it then. Yep, there's some practice questions for you to work on, and that's it for the notes.